chosen Curiosities, books that might not come your way unless you were looking for them. I love digging out the hidden gems of our collections, and nonfiction is a fantastically overlooked place for imagination and whimsy. It's also a great place to look for introspection and a new perspective about your life and others. My first book, Once Upon a Tome by Oliver Darkshire, shares the misadventures of a rare bookseller in London. Hired as an apprentice with no former experience, Darkshire is thrown into the world of antiquarian book collecting. Sutherland's, established in 1761, has had plenty of time to accumulate a variety of strange and passionate eccentrics on both sides of the counter. With his sharp observations and charming, whimsical humor, it's no wonder Darkshire made a name for Sutherland's online managing their Twitter account. Pulled through numerous anecdotes taking place in the bookshop and out in the crumbling manners of book collectors, it's easy to pop in and out of, but funny enough not to put down. Lost and Found by Katherine Schultz is an intelligent and tender book on grief and love. The devastation and euphoria of each are married in this beautiful memoir about losing her father and finding her wife. With a depth array of references from science, literature, and personal experiences, Schultz crystallizes concepts of what it means to lose a person and what it means to find one. Strong and immersive visual images place the reader in scenes throughout the book, a subtle yet cordial invitation to peek inside the life of the writer as she processes her grief and works out what it means to live on. For another book-related microhistory, I deeply enjoyed Index, A History of the by Dennis Duncan, and for a fun fictional take on the trials of working in the bookshop, The Band Bookshop of Maggie Banks by Shauna Robinson. For meditations on grief and life, you'll be hard-pressed to find better than Ages for Hawk by Helen MacDonald, Wave by Sonali Darnyegala, and The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion.